in our Milking Shorthorn senior three-year-old class. If we could have our first and second place juniors please step forward. Our second place junior is entry 1384, Blue Spruce Famous Mallory, exhibited by Brooke M. Clark of GMC Farm, Cornish Flat, New Hampshire. In our open show, third is entry number 1386, Broken Road K Lady Liberty, exhibited by Josh Braidlaw of Granton, Wisconsin. Second in the class, as well as our Bread and Own winner and production winner, is Spring Meadows Spark Hattie, exhibited by Elaine Halterman of Spring Meadows in Urbano, Ohio. Our winning entry and best uttered is entry 1387, BDF Lothario Tammy, exhibited by Kyla Jarvis of BDF Farms, Cory, Indiana. Congratulations to all and Judge Harbaugh, your reasons please. Thank you, Laura. Well, an interesting class, cows of a lot of different sizes and shapes here, but when you get them in line and analyze them, this first cow is a cow with the least amount of faults. She's an angular cow, she's dairy and open in her rib structure, she's strong and snug in her udder attachments, and it's that advantage, she is the best uttered cow in the class, having the advantage today and showing us just a bit more bloom and width right at the top of the rear udder today over the cow in second. The first cow also has more definition of seam through the back of the rear udder today than the big powerful cow coming along in second. Tremendous frame cow in second. You just love that uphill run that she possesses. She's a hard top cow with extreme depth and width through the floor of her chest and a cow with an extremely long barrel and it's that advantage she has today in length of frame, balance and symmetry up through the top of the rear rudder today and the quality that she has through the seam of her rudder today to place over this beautifully open ribbed cow we have coming along in third. You really admire this third cow hips forward. Just that great balance of strength and dairiness throughout and she uses her advantage today in teat size shape and placement and levelness through the udder of her fl the floor of her udder to place over the cow coming along next and then fourth over fifth today just that advantage she has in dairiness and openness and breed characteristics throughout and you also give the fifth fourth cow the advantage over fifth today and more levelness and correctness out through a rump structure and these fifth and sixth cows cows you truly have to admire for the height and width that they possess in their rear udders today but that fifth cow cow just lacks that overall dairiness and angularity of the cows ahead of her and our cow that comes to the end of the class just a beautiful dairy cow with a big rear udder but just not that length and snugness of fore udder attachment and a cow that doesn't move as freely and comfortably on her rear feet and legs today as the rest of the cows in the class congratulations <laughs> 